All right, I think I found a solution to these iMovie problems here, you know, with the latest release from Apple. Over on the iMovie user tips and tricks, I posted the first video I did with all the problems and many comments. People seem to have the problem. I posted on the Apple support site, also all kind of comments, people having the problems. I don't want to show his name because it's a private group, but uh, Bruce gave a great tip. And that tip is very easy. Check it out. When you start up iMovie, hold down your option command, you know, option or alt and command right next to your space bar, you two to the left. When you click there and you click and open iMovie, it'll, it'll prompt you with this message on your Mac. Do you want to delete the preferences? Deleting the preferences will reset all application settings that are defaults. Libraries, documents will not be affected. So that's important. I don't want any media affected or what have you. So we'll do that. iMovie continues launching here. And we're going to get rid of this screen. You get that standard kind of scary, like, uh oh, where'd everything go? But just, you know, click continue, get started. <clears throat> now, don't worry, your external. I'm just going to click open this empty movie here. I feel more comfortable seeing the uh, uh, the My Media part and all that. Your external, the external libraries, you can just go file, open library. It's not going to be under recent yet because you've just deleted all your preferences. Go to um, open other. Hit locate because it won't be seen yet. You, choose that library on the external drive or wherever it might be on your network. And that pops open. Everything seems to be there, which is great. And this is the same footage where I had the problem with last time. I'm just going to put a couple clips down in there. And uh, Right away, you can see I can now select all my controls. So I can speed. I can play anywhere in the timeline. Before I had to you know, only play once and you had to go up here and click and then do that, right? Just for to be sure, I'm going to add in some, some other footage here. Exploring to YouTube had all kinds of problems. And the exporting still has the problems. So it didn't fix that part. It doesn't appear to have fixed all things. I'm going to try to restart and just see what happens here. Let's save this. Now you get the what's new in iMovie when you restart. It's kind of interesting. It comes now. It opens up all the things again. I'm going to do a completely new project. Create new. Because the last one was on the uh, local drive. I'm curious if it has, has something to do with using media on external drives that causes these problems. So at least it appears the timeline problems are fixed. So if we add in some stuff here, we'll see that uh, the time, you know, I can get in there and edit stuff and slow stuff down and what have you. Now, People were complaining transitions disappear. They seem to be working now. And if we now go to, we select all for some reason, share. We see share to YouTube is still not working. You get only uh, 540p. So that's still a problem, the exporting. Big problem, huge problem. But at least some of the other Really terrible things are gone. Export file, still not working. 4K is not showing up. At least I get 1080p. It's a workaround for now. Uh, just a bunch of text here. See this, these fields are not working. So the export seems to be the big problem still. Being able to export at resolution used. Some of the other little uh, oddball T's seem to have maybe been fixed or at least uh, for the time being, curious how it will behave further, but there's an update on the recent problems from iMovie from Apple.